Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is Rich for Welsh Tech, and today we have the RX ninety sixty XT Nitro Plus graphics card. So, what's included in the box? Well, first of all, you get the installation guide. This will tell you how to install it. Then you do get this uh, synchronized addressable RGB effects with the motherboard. It does come with an included ARGB. Uh, cable and then it does tell you about the support bra bracket how to actually install that but personally I wouldn't use it with this card then you get the card but then you also get the accessories now this is where you're going to get the support bracket and you're also going to get the ARGB connector this will go through the back of the card which I will show you uh, it'll go through the back and then straight into your motherboard then you get the actual bracket itself which is a little bit unnecessary but then you get the card which is very beautiful okay so when it comes to some specs now this does have a gpu boost clock up to 3320 megahertz the gpu game clock does go up to 2780 the memory is a 16 gigabyte by a 128 bit ddr5 20 gigabit effective it does have stream process at 2048 and it is amd rnd for architecture with ray accelerator 32 pcie a uh, pci express 5.0 times 16 slot does have an 8 pin connector and obviously it's got an integrated back now when it comes to the actual outputs now you do get two hdmi and you do get one display port 2.1 a port okay so this does have an integrated cooling module integrated cooling is an advanced thermal management solution engineered to provide efficient heat dissipation across all critical components of a graphs card this innovative design ensures direct contact with the gpu now this does have aero curve fan blades the does have optimized composite heat pipes it does have a frame defense design on the overall shroud it does have a tough metal backplate and it does have Honeywell PTM 7950 when it comes to the actual thermal interface or thermal pad so when it comes to the actual wall design this does have a fan quick connect if there's a problem with the fans you don't have to return the entire card Sapphire or our channel partners will send out replacement fan directly to you two ball bearing fans these feature uh, dual ball bearing bearing fans which have an approximately 85 percent larger lifespan than sleeve bearings in our test the improvements to the fan blades mean the solution is up to 10 percent quieter than the previous generation it has fuse protection it has a digital power design which are designed with digital power which provides accurate power control and excellent power efficiency it has the trex cooling technology which is an innovative mixture of robust vrm cooling and independent memory thermal modules work in tandem to remove heat efficiently tunneled fins increase convection airflow as well as ensure wind continuously flows through the cooling fan the heat is dissipated by the trio of large in the, uh, efficient fans running anti-clockwise to maximize air flow the overall pcb is a, a high density 10 layer 2 oz copper with a high tg pcb to match the rapid speed high current and increased power requirement of the gpu and memory to guarantee high stability of the pcb during operation it does have an optimized composite heat pipe it is does also have a tough backplate and like i did say it does also include honeywell ptm 7950 okay so this is the triax uh, software for the nitro plus version of the rx 9060 xt now the best thing about this software that Sapphire here does, in, which is included with uh, their Nitro Plus GPUs, which are, is a very good software. Now, the overall live data, this will tell you everything. GPU clock, memory clock, GPU temperature, GPU load, GPU voltage, and then you've got the displays right at the bottom. Now, you can click all of the like the memory controller load, the memory use detected, dynamic, power draw, 
system memory used, CPU temperature. You can do pretty much all the information you want just through this software. Now they have just recently updated this, so that's a, that's a good thing. Now you've got Trex Boost. This will boost the resolution. This will just it'll let you run games at a higher FPS rate, but obviously it reduces the rendering resolution slightly and then upscaling the final output image. Now I don't use this, but obviously if you are someone who wants to get the most uh, FPS in games, then it's definitely going to be something good. Now, the performance by here now is you can restore the default or you can favor efficiency. So, this will, these are just quick performance profiles that are already in the software pre done. You can favor performance or efficiency. Now, the glow, this is where I'll put a little video, a little thing here to show you the overall. RGB effects of the card. Now it does brightness, speed, it does runaway, single color, rainbow, serial, comet, audio, visualization, custom color, external sources when you use the included uh, ARGB cable and you sync it up to your motherboard and then you've got the turn off which will just turn off the RGB. But then we've also got this which is called fan health what this will do is this will check the individual fans it will run the individual fans at full rpm to make 100 percent sure that the bearings as well as the fan rpm is correct if there's an error with the fan this will pick it up through the testing now the information this is the hardware information this will tell you all the GPU specifications, like the GPU, the die size, the interface, memory bus, the uh, driver, resizable bar, shaders, raster units, texture units, BIOS version, DirectX, UEFI, the uh, device ID. You can save the BIOS through this. So if you ever try to, which I wouldn't, um, I would never tell you to ever try and flash the BIOS but if you ever do this will give you the oh, the you will it'll give you the option to actually save the current BIOS also gives you the corporate office gives you the um, if you require additional information on the products customer uh, support where to buy it gives you all the obviously the uh, social media for Sapphire but as for the software that's pretty much it Okay, so when it comes to the overall test system I used for testing the RX 9060 XT, it is my AM5 platform, it is a Ryzen 9 7900, it's got 32 gigs of DDR5, it's got a B650 motherboard from MSI, 1000 watt co-link power supply and it's housed in the Be Quiet Shadowbase 800 FX. Okay, so when it comes to the overall testing, now I've done 1080p, I've done 1440 and I've done 4K. Now, when you see the graphs, it's going to include the other version of the 9060 XT, which would be the Pulse version that I previously done as well. So, 1080p. Now, when it comes to Far Cry 6, the averages was 173. The 1% low is 146. Starfield, the averages was 92. The 1% low is 82. Indiana Jones, the average was 133. The 1% low was 105. Hogwarts Legacy was an average at 145 with a 1% low of 111. Call of Duty 6, the averages was 265 and the lows were 119. When it comes to the 1440p resolution results well for far cry the averages are 199 with a 1% low of 115 starfield the averages were 71 with a 1% low of 64 the indiana jones was an average of 122 with a 1% low of 90 hogwarts legacy average 88 with a 1% low of 76 and call of duty 6 the averages was 154 and the 1% low was 134 now for the 4k benchmarks the averages and the 1% low for 
Far Cry 6. The average was a, uh, was 85, with a 1% low of 71. Starfield was an average of 38, with a 1% low of 34. Indiana Jones, the average was 55, with a 1% low of 52. Hogwarts Legacy, the average was 46, with a 1% low of 42. And Call of Duty 6 was an average of 68, and the 1% low of 56. What is my personal opinion on the Sapphire card? Well, seeing as I bought an RX 7800 XT personally, Nitro, for £550, uh, £550 on scan in 2024, I, in my personal opinion, believe these are the best AMD cards out of every other brand. That's just me giving you my personal opinion. Now, from speaking to other amd card owners from sapphire who's owned asus and other brands they have even agreed with me to say that these are the best versions of any amd cards out there personally now the 9070 xt version of this is so good that sapphire these are out to stock and overclockers scan i can't even get one from directly from sapphire because they can't keep a sample behind for me they can't even send me one because they don't have any soon as they come in stock they're gone it's because these are the best versions of any of the amd cards that's just my personal opinion whether you agree with me or not that's up to you but this for 350 pound yes it's a little bit steep but this is a little bit better than the pulse version now this does have a three well a two uh, well, a two and a bit slot card it's massive compared to the pulse version and this is probably the best design so if you're looking for a good 1080p 1440p graphics card then this is definitely a good card like i said with the pulse version though this isn't really a 4k card i personally wouldn't use a 4k but 1080p and 1440 this is definitely capable of playing with well playing any game really even if you have to put down the settings a little get high maximum frames but that's that's fine that is completely fine this card is more than capable of it and i run very very demanding games now whether you want to buy one of these or not if you do i will leave a link for overclockers scan as well as if i can find one on amazon because it will give me a kickback and my personal opinion on this this is a fantastic card out of all the other amd cards this is definitely the best version that's my opinion and if you don't agree with it that's up to you but big thank you to sapphire for sending this out for review i still want the 9070 xt because that is the high-end version of this current generation so yeah look make sure you subscribe to the channel i've got the motherboard from sapphire coming up as well i've got a case from lee and lee i've got an aio from them as well which will be coming next week i've got loads of stuff here and more to stuff to come so make sure you subscribe and as always this is rich for welsh tech i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and week ahead of you good